Hi Architects, this is Archive and it's been some time since we last made some specialized content for this channel and here we are today to actually showcase the account that I used to make AFK guides as well as sharing my pulling plans for this account which is also my main account. So currently what you're seeing in front of you is the account of a guide maker, an AFK guide maker. So we're going to briefly go through the account and then share my pulling plans as well as providing some explanations on my decisions. 120, obviously. Started this account on 14th of September, 2021. It's been two and a half since then. And then now we're going to be going through some basic resources. So this is 4.5 million LMD, 103K random and also 503 OP. So for me personally, I prefer using my OP in terms of spending stamina, pushing to pity when I really have bad luck. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just have bad luck instead of putting the effort into the skins. I personally don't really use skins that much, mainly because first of all, I think the original designs are also decent. And then second thing is that I think it would be better for me not to use um, skins to make it more visible for newer players as well as newer guide followers. And then now we're going to be going to the operator, which I think most of you are most concerned of. And I'm going to show you my box here. So basically I have lots of six hours. I've actually lost count of what six hours I don't really have. Well, I can name a few that I might be noticing, but maybe if I lost some. So definitely like what, Weedy, Horn, Siobi, Nian, and also Ash. And these are the ones that I really know that I'm lacking off. Maybe some others I missed it out, but yeah, we will eventually get them off banner. So my main concern, Nian, which I'm going to get it in the shoe banner later on. And also Ash, which I'm going to get it in six months time. So five stars, we have, we have also trained, um, of course, some of some mistakes that I made when I was a relatively newer player and some I just upgraded because I need the max risk and CC 12. So as an example, this Akafuyu, everybody has a dream of being a samurai, right? But I think it might be much a hassle to just look through like this. So we're just going to be going through classes by classes. I'm just going to be stating the operators that I usually use when I'm not making guides. Like when I'm playing what, IS4, playing SSS or such. So for me, I personally prefer the flag pipe, although I know Ines is really good. But I personally prefer flag pipe, so backpipe, Steel Leech, Elysium, and also Mirzhal right there. They're going to get their modules upgraded when I'm free or when I'm comfortable with it because my module blocks are really running low. Uh, Texas, we also use it quite a lot in the AFK guides, but the module level 3 is just too <laughs> funny. I, I tend to like upgrade to level 3 whenever I want to upgrade something. Another operator that I prefer using would be Siege. I prefer Siege over than Saga because Siege is relatively AFK and maybe Maybe it's some old player vibes that just I just kind of like to see things moving around itself and I don't really have the time for the timing. So personally, I prefer Siege more than Saga and definitely got to get Muldu up. So for the guards wise, basically we're just going to be using this 10 usually. And for Gavel Alta wise, I, pre I still prefer Blaze because Blaze, I prefer the more constant DPS output rather than this sudden burst and sudden lack of DPS that Gavel also provides. I think Gavel also is more specialized in waves while Blaze is just relatively consistent. Not to say that Gavel also is not good, just I personally don't don't prefer it. And yeah, maybe the two five stars that I'm gonna be, that I use consistently or constantly would be La Pluma and Laplan. Defender wise, I usually just choose three of them, Hoshiguma, Mud Rock and Seiria. So in my CN account, I do use Penance a lot because I don't have Mud Rock. Just the same reason. Not to say that Penance is not good, it's just that Hunter AFK is just too irresistible. Of course, in Aya, sometimes you don't have enough hope. I will just go for Quora and Gummy, or even Spot. Always reliable. Sniper wise, Chinalta has actually fought all of my choice of option actually because of a high DP and also the high initial, um, the low initial SP, which requires some time for the skill to be activated. As well as the DPS is actually slowly feeling a bit lacking for me when I have better options like Typhoon against really high defense enemies. Typhoon works better than Chen and against low defense enemies, Exercise is definitely more than enough. And even if the enemy have average defense, I can use Exercise Warfarin or Shamir to just dish the DPS up instead of putting a channel holding day. So for me personally, just 
used often the Typhoon XZI. So why my Typhoon model isn't up? Because the trust is not enough. Um, there's no stage that I require me to ban my OP for now. So we'll just keep it like that first. And when the trust is up, I'll definitely upgrade it. Cluster wise, I just use Golden Glow, AI, and then Frit. Although, although Dusk is one of the favorite operators of mine, but I still personally prefer Golden Glow and AI. And if it this tree is more than enough. In my CN server, I do use Lin sometimes. I borrow it. But in my EN server, maybe not that much. Medic wise, Air Alter, Nightingale, Shining, Lumen are the four most common medics that I use. Read the Flame Shadow is very good, but it makes my computer lag, so I don't really like to use her. And Calcet wise, the real damage is a bit lacking for the environment we are facing right now, although true damage is true damage, but. Yeah, Honeybear and Marlberry obviously replaced by Air Alter. Pit losses sometimes with Molna, sometimes Warfare and Wise with Exorcise, or when we kind of try to circus through the boss or somewhat. Yeah, Warfare and will always be my choice here. Supporter wise, we once used the Link quite a lot, and def therefore you see the spot six here. But for nowadays, I just use Scully Alter, Skill Two or Skill Three. Gnosis and Suzuran wise, I don't really use Fragile that much. That Nowadays, I prefer just debuffing the enemies and just buffing up myself instead of applying this fragile effect. Well, it's just personal preference. Okay, it's not like which is better, which is not. And lastly, we're going to go for specialist. For specialist wise, I obviously prefer Texas Alter over Yato Alter. And if I were to pick two and one, I would definitely go for Texas Alter. But Kirin Yato, we also sometimes use it. But other than that, we don't really use specialists that much, personally. Although we are having our dirty M9 right here for whatever reason, I don't know. Oh, for trust wise, I know some of you are really concerned about this trust, which I don't know why, but yeah, just gonna show you. So basically just the new operators that I obtained, having got max trust and the rest are basically all max trusted. Oh, it's very obvious that this account is more than enough to finish all of the content in Arc Knights, no matter for now or for six months later, it's definitely more than enough. But we are still gonna make pulls. And for now, I'm gonna be sharing my pulling plans as well as providing explanations on why I'm, I'm making such a decision. Just some background review. So for this account, it's basically a relatively free to play account. Yeah, the doubles are all here. Picks wise, it's a, we have this monthly card here. Certificates wise from time to time, we'll be able to buy this 38 pulls and we don't really touch for this yellow cert, even if it's something that we don't really have like weedy horn whatsoever we don't really touch that we just go for this so now my stash will be around this is 100k random and this is around 120 pulls so it's going to be around 290 pulls okay so for me personally i actually prefer collecting all of the limited and then go for metas and this will be my pull priority so i don't really care if i don't have all the six stars or such kiss except for the limiteds because I will eventually get them. You know, one day you just get some raid off and then you will eventually get them anyways. So for me, I think the most important thing would be just collecting for limiteds first and then going for meta units because the price of missing a limited operator and getting back after is just too much. 300 pulls is just too much. So for the first banner, it's a good banner, I would say. Horn Stainless and Ines, I don't have any three of them. The one that I really need is just Ines. So would I be risking a one in three chance i'll probably just pull 10 pulls or actually pull until i get a gold and then just run after that i won't be insisting on getting ns hodder wise mm -hmm. okay so we have turned away so that people just don't get so glass broken so from now on it's gonna be like um the tier list for operators gonna be like good very good and super good okay hodder is obviously good and therefore but i'm not gonna be pulling it unfortunately or fortunately i don't know move gone would be virtuous and viviana viviana it's definitely not the meta unit. Virtuosa wise, it's the limited. I'm probably gonna throw like 100 pulls and try my luck for Virtuosa. And we'll definitely try pulling until I get Virtuosa. Of course, I'm not gonna be throwing all 300 pulls in it as it's not the best banner for me to dump everything I have into. The possibility of me getting both of these operators according to mathematical models would be 109 pulls. And I think that is the most that I'll be proceeding in. And yeah, if... Nothing too bad happens. We will eventually get it in 110 pulls. We've gone John Operation 12. We don't have Posey, but we obviously don't need Posey anymore. We have more than enough DPS in the squad, and it's just going to be a skip for me. Legion Breacher is definitely the next meta unit. Next banner would be a Read Alter banner. I obviously have Read Alter already, so I'm not going to go for it. Celebrate and Recollect Kernel, Kernel banner. So for me personally, I'm not the big fan of Kernel. I think it's 
Like, there's no point of spending the same amount of resources, 600 or randoms, for an operator four years ago. Does it make sense? I mean, it's already, this game has already worked for four years and definitely the new operators are going to be better than operators in terms of stats or game mechanics and such. And not sure why are people promoting Colonel Hunting. Of course, if you want a collection, if you're a will, it's obvious. But if you're a free-to-play player, which is who is focusing on finish all of the content and don't have specific waifu preferences in anybody in this kernel, I would just just skip it. Okay, just skip it. It's a scam banner. As well as for this, if you're do if you don't have some very personal waifu preferences, just skip it, okay? Just skip it. Ray is Ray good? I'm personally not a big fan of ammo. Well Channelta was something different by that time because Channelta was a tier top tier DPS for that time but for now Ray is just a middle core DPS I would say although still among the top tier DPSs but she's not the only one well Channelta was the only one by then so I would probably skip for Ray and then for Shu and Drolla I'm definitely going to go 300 pulls all in for this there are two reasons for this the first reason is Shu is absolutely good and yeah I definitely like the design of Shu as well, the skid skills as well as she's also meta. This is the first reason. And the second reason is I also want to try to get my Nian out because I'm lacking of Nian. Um, Joel is definitely not my particular choice, although I'm sure I'm going to get a few of them accidentally. But if possible, I'm just going to throw 300 pulls in this thing. Join Operation 13. The only one we are lacking here would be Chobai and we don't really need Chobai. This is the first reason, and the second reason is to pull one in out of four is just too much risk, and it's not really worth it, so it's going to be a skip for me. Iana, Doc, and Ella, real limited banner, definitely going to go for it, as well as Blizzard, Frost, and Ash. I'm still going to definitely go for it, so a copy of Ella and a copy of Ash. We're just going to get a copy of them and run. Yep, so this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.